Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Monday. Welcome to a Mascara Monday. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a mascara review, but I recently received a just random email from Sephora saying, hey, you can pick however many mascaras you want and receive 25% off. And I was like, well, it's a good deal. Uh, there were a couple of mascaras that I was going to be purchasing during the November uh, Rouge VIB BI sale, the sale that they do every November. Um, and I'm only going to be getting 20% off there. So I was like, well, I'll bite early. So bought a couple mascaras. One of them was this. Um, the, honestly, like probably the main reason that I picked this up was because of the packaging. I've seen it in stores a couple times and have picked it up and was like, wow, it's so pretty. I wonder how this works. Okay, so this is the Pretty Vulgar, um, the Feathers Mascara. Um, even the box is beautiful. So um, here's the little box that it comes in. Uh, this retails for $24, so kind of spendy. But what drew me to it was I saw the brush and I was like, oh, I love this type of brush. It's a natural bristle brush. You can see it right there natural bristle brush. It's a curved brush. I actually take all of my mascara wands that aren't like the plastic rubbery ones. Um, if they're this type of natural bristle brush, I always put a curve in there because that just is so perfect for my particular like eye shape. Like I love being able to get all the lashes at once instead of having to do it like in sections with a straight wand, if that makes sense. So the natural curve, the natural bristles, the fact that this was supposed to be a volumizing formula, I was like, oh yeah, I need this. Now, I kind of read some of the reviews, but like not all of them. Um, the reviews aren't super. It does have three and a half stars, it looks like. So I was like, well, I think it's worth a try. I mean, if something is one stars, I'm probably not gonna try it. If it's two stars, I'm probably not gonna try it. But three and a half, I was like, well, you know, try it out, why not? Um, okay, so <laughs> before we even get into this, I'm going to let you guys know this is the worst mascara. I don't want to say the worst because there was one that I tried recently that was also awful, but like this is, this is in the top two worst mascaras that I've ever used. This mascara is awful, you guys, and we'll talk about it here in a minute, but I just want to tell you about the claims because this is... When I was using it, I was like, what? Is, is something wrong with my mascara tube? There has to be, right? Anyway, okay, so a long wearing mascara with unique black pigments that has a curved brush to hug your lashes and sweep on dramatic volume and length. So two really great things when it comes to mascara, right? So just one coat of the Feathers Mascara sweeps on the deepest, darkest lashes with ultra high volume. The elegant... <laughs> The elegant birdcage design of this mascara was created to uh, inspire um, flock to live a cage-free life. The mascara features a curved brush that lifts your lashes while giving them dramatic volume, curl, and length. Um, its long-wearing formula is enriched with provitamin B5 and sodium hyaluronate to moisturize and thicken each lash. With the U, with with the use of a unique black pigment blend, this mascara gives lashes a clump-free, flake-free finish. So those are the claims. Now, I will give Pretty Vulgar um, some major bonus points because they are cruelty-free, they are gluten-free, and they are actually vegan, which, all good things, right? So I'm not writing the brand off entirely. I'm sure Pretty Vulgar has some good stuff, but this mascara is not included in that. This is going back and I've used it once. <laughs> with mascara, a lot of things, you know, eyeshadows sometimes you have to play with them a little bit. If it's a new formula that maybe you're not used to, you're like, oh yeah, you know, I gotta figure this out. Or blush, like sometimes you might go heavy handed because you're like, oh, I didn't realize this was so pigmented. And so, you know, most makeup items you can give like a couple of chances to, to decide like, okay, it's just like user error or this is, a crappy product. Um, with mascara, like I know right away whether I like a mascara or whether I hate it. I knew the second I put this on my lashes, the first swipe, I was like, no, no. First off, okay, so I hope that I can get across on my camera how clumpy and 
thick this formula is. Do you see how it's like clumped in the middle there? It's just a solid chunk of like mass here, maybe against my forehead. There's just a solid chunk of mascara there. So you can't use this side here, this side. Um, I had to apply with this side where there's slightly less chunks of mascara. It is so thick that it just clumps up immediately on my lashes. Like just a solid, like just of mascara on my lashes. I had to use my lash comb and I like these metal lash combs. I had to use this like it was going out of style. I was just combing and combing and combing trying to get that excess mascara out. This whole thing was black, like just covered in excess mascara. So then I was like, okay, so I'll just comb it out and then I'll wait for just a second and then I'll go in with coat number two because that's what I normally do. And um, it was just worse the second go around. Just cl huge clumps like on the ends, like my lash tips had actual chunks of mascara. And I would have to go in and like brush those off because as soon as I blinked in any kind of way, it went on my like, eyes up here and then even like on like, the tops of my cheeks because it was so chunky um which normally doesn't ever happen to me like I don't get mascara down here I I will get it here because of like my brow bone um it's just bad you guys I wish that I had something good to say about this but anyway so I went ahead and just tried really hard to like at least comb it out to where it was like bearable to wear throughout the day. To make things worse, not only did I look like I had tarantula leg lashes for the entire day, but then it was flaking everywhere. And I mean, I had like just an array of flakes just on the tops of my cheekbones here. Not good. Nope. So it wore it one time and it's going back. There's no way, I can't imagine even wanting to work with this again. The amount of work it took for me to make this look okay on my lashes and then to have it still look like I had tarantula like lashes and to then have it flake, no. Plus, it was a little bit more difficult to remove because it like it's a dry formula and it definitely dries on your lashes. Um, I had to work like with my Drunk Elephant um, Slay makeup, makeup Melting Butter like an extra amount of time to like loosen up the mascara and like actually get it off my lashes at the end of the day. And it took a couple of tries to get it all off. So it was difficult to remove to boot. <laughs> I, I didn't think it could get any worse, but yeah, you guys, I do not recommend this at all. Now, I'm sure someone will be like, you got a bad batch. Like, I, I don't think so. I think this is how the formula is. I think it's, it's supposed to be a thicker formula to start with. Um, and after reading some of the reviews now, after the fact, um, yeah, like there's a lot of people <laughs> agree with me in saying that this is a clumpy mess. Um, I think it's, I think this is the intention of the formula to be this thick. I just, every time I pull the wand out, it is hysterical how much product comes out on this thing. Like, I wish my camera focused better. Oh, it's, it's ridiculous. And I don't mind like when mascara gets on the end, like I'm always happy to just do that. But then I'm still left with like, do you see those chunks? There's just chunks. Ugh. No. I, I don't have anything good to say about this, obviously. <laughs> I'm putting it back in the box. I'm taking it to Sephora and I'm going to be like, hey, dudes, did I like do something wrong? Because I don't understand. I I don't know how they can sell this and talk about how like voluminous and curly and sky high length and yeah, that none of these things happen for me. No length either. I mean, unless they're counting like the chunks as length, which I don't, I don't count that as length at all. Um, 
I don't think there was just no way to lengthen my lashes with this because every time that I like pulled it out to the ends, like it just deposited more like chunks at the top. So yeah, I feel like I'm repeating myself at this point. Suffice it to say, no, <laughs> I don't even recommend trying this. Um, I'll try other things from Pretty Vulgar, um, but this, I'm gonna take this back. I'm not, I, uh, I know that they have another mascara, um, but I think I'm gonna pass on that as well because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure um, that it's not gonna be any better than this. It kind of looks clumpy even in the pictures. So yeah, I don't know. Anyway, have you tried this mascara? What are your thoughts? <laughs> Up down below. Um, I'll go ahead and link it. I mean, it's kind of fun to go read some of the reviews because some people are like, oh, it's beautiful packaging and the best mascara ever. And then there are some people that are like, no, worst mascara I've ever tried. I am in that camp, obviously. So, all right. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Monday. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one.